He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, cause they raping everybody out here. You don't have to come and confess, we looking for you, we gon' find you, we gon' find you, so you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that, oh boy, oh boy. Your t-shirt to the left finger prints and all you are so dumb You are really dumb, for real You are really, 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 really so dumb I was attacked by some idiot in the project So dumb, so dumb, so dumb, so dumb He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up Trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids Hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife And hide your husband, cause they break the damn body out here you don't have to come and confess, we're looking for you, we gon' find you, we gon' find you, so you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that, oh boy, oh, oh, oh boy, help that man right here, copy complexion, no cut like a Caesar, this is the way in the well, is it, don't, right. don't, don't try and come at me and, sing, and make it seem as if I'm not communicating. Right. I see you I'm not airport. doing it. I see you at the airport looking up Airbnbs like I was about to go with you somewhere. You, you don't even know. I wasn't looking at Airbnb. I wasn't looking at single Airbnb, Airbnbs. Bro, you had two person Airbnbs on there. I'm like, you tripping. Then I'm thinking about my mind. Don't worry about what I'm, I'm doing. About, I'm thinking about my mind like, yo, yo, my, my family here, they was never this little to me. They never turned their back on me. But you have turned your back on me many times. So why would I trust to go with you? Why would I? You've turned you back on me many times. You were disloyal to me. Wow. Th let's not forget about Palenque. Wow. You just forget. You just see. You're the type of person that likes to victimize themselves. That's exactly what you do. Okay. You forget about everything that you've done. I don't know why I'm Palenque. We're not going to talk about all that right now. I'm not about to do that. I'm not. Oh, okay. Do you want to talk about it, new? Absolutely. What about the time that I told you I didn't want to have sex and you forced me to have sex with you? We talked about that. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh. What about that? What do you mean, oh, damn? What? What, oh damn what? You already, you already solved that. I'm just saying, stop. You that that was you being dishonorable. Oh, you talking about me turning my back on you? Were right you? No. I how did you write your wrongs, new? Right. How did you write? You were never patient, even I mean, tonight. Listen, I'm not about to play. I I said I didn't want to talk about it. Cause either way, listen, I'm not about to. I'm not about to. I'm not about to do this. I'm not about to do this. You're right. You're not. But listen, we we had talked about that. We talked about that, yo. And you literally was like, yo, I understand. We can't talk understand that either, bro. We were past that. And you hold me to that. I'm holding you to things that you never write it. You feel what I'm saying? You did certain things and you never righted your wrongs. Because you kept going back to the same thing you never committed. So it's different. Just like when I hear you, listen, this world is a simulation. She doesn't realize that this is a simulation. It doesn't matter where she go, there you are. You're going to recreate the same, the same sure. circumstance, uh, and you're going to have to do it anyway. So it's, it doesn't matter where you go. Wherever you go, there you are. All I'm doing as your higher self is trying to make you think out this shit. In the long run, you did this over and over. Right. You did this over and over and over. Again, before you make this irrational decision, utilize your environment and come to a sound reason before you do it. Last time you came to communicate with me, guess what happened? You got back on track. And you were like, oh, okay. Because guys, through communication in the universe, you can't. You can't when you're, you're headstrong. You can't when you already think you're right. Yeah, man. So we getting on here real quick because... We haven't been on the scene in a while, you know what I mean? And it's always shit going on, but we just have to tap in, you know what I mean? Make some things clear. Hey, sis. You know what I mean? What's going on, sis? Just make sure that, you know what I mean? Everything's straight. But yeah, we just been chilling though, man. I'm just, just, you know what I mean? Staying out the way. Trying to stay out the drama. Trying to just continue to push our lives forward, you know what I mean? Our relationship, and actually taking, just taking our life seriously, man, and really understanding what our purpose on this planet is, and just choosing to honor ourselves from that perspective. You, know? you said, "What's good with the music, though?" Yeah, we got music coming. My queen right here, she's been going crazy with the beats. That beat, if you've seen it on the story. Stop it. That that's all her. I didn't even, I didn't do nothing on that beat. If you go on our story, look at the beat that she making on there. She made that by herself. 
facts. I didn't even help. I think I helped with a couple notes, if that. Just one. Just like one note. <laughs> Somebody said the connection went out. Is the connection still good? I'm sure that was just her, her Wi-Fi. So I got that Walmart Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's Tatiana. I know. <laughs> you need to upgrade your Wi-Fi. I'm fucking done. Hell yeah. But yeah, I don't know. We didn't watch the trial live or nothing like that. Um, we just went on there and seen, just seen what verdict. happened. Just seen the verdict, you know what I mean? It's all that really matter. <laughs> honestly, we was tapped out, and that shit, that shit shocked me, honestly. I was like, damn, bro. But we gonna get into that. We gonna get into that. Yeah, you rock with that? Yeah. Yeah, but for, for us, it's more like, to be honest, I don't really like to speak on, I don't like the chitty chat and gossip and shit like that, you know what I mean? That's not really what we into. It's more of a, it's more of an understanding what's happening on a symbolic level, you know what I mean? And we not trying to come here and proclaim to be the all righteous, almighty teachers and we know everything. I, I don't know a lot of shit, you feel me? I'm not perfect. I'm still learning in my life, you know what I mean? I made a lot of mistakes. And what I did, you know what I mean? But I'm not that person that I was, you know what I mean? And everybody has the choice, regardless of what you went through in life, everybody has the choice to learn from their life and to choose to do something different every day. As soon as you become aware of a behavior pattern or something that you're doing that is not harmonious with the direction that the collective consciousness is going in that is no longer it's just a choice it's not a habit it's not a bad habit it's just a consistent bad choice that's being made and i think that something on a worldwide level not just with alijo not just with anybody you could who the rapper that just got locked up uh oh young Slime. Thug. yeah oh. young thug anybody that's in any position of power that's abusing their power in any way you gonna get taken down. You gonna you're gonna get taken down in a way that shows you, in this realm and in this reality, that you can't just do what you want to do. You know what I mean? We have this idea of free will, like we just do what we want to do. Like, nah, that's not how it works, bro. Free will leads to confusion. Free will leads to confusion. So everybody's playing a part. Now the question is, the question is, can you, can you look at the situation at hand right now? And this goes for everybody, and I feel like this is the biggest takeaway. And look at it from a positive perspective. And in your own life, are you able to take accountability and move forward in that and not hold yourself to your past self, but allow yourself to keep moving forward? Yeah, we smoking, we smoking weed. We have I have a we have a legal card though. So it ain't got nothing to trip about. Why is that the focus right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, niggas just be nosy. But that's the important thing. You know what I mean? And we're going to get into some other stuff too, but when it comes to like bro's verdict and how they sentence them, bro, my heart goes out at the same time. It's, I, I understand and we understand that as souls, we all descended here and we chose the things that we wanted to experience in life. So really nobody's a victim. Like all, all in all, Yes, we're subjected to certain belief systems and mentalities in this realm and in this illusion that we exist in, but we chose it. We chose it. So if he got sentenced to that in some way in the connection of source that we all are, that was a choice to say that this is what I'm going to experience. So our hearts go out to everybody involved in that and, and really just pushing out the most positive energy that everybody is really taking their life seriously and saying, okay, what do I really want my reality to reflect to me? Because everybody probably know, I mean, the magic is turning up. From alien interactions to in intergalactic to just, just how purity expresses itself in this realm is turning up. And anything that's not in alignment with that depends on what you want to experience. What, what do you want to read? It's a reality split. You feel me?
and I'm grateful I had my queen because she helped me stay out the way. You know what I mean? I was connected to people and from a place that we all, a lot of us were coming from. Like um, my brother Uja has said, he sent a video, he sent a video of a reel he did over. And he was saying, you know, because he was in the cult too for a little bit. I remember he, bro was there in Georgia and a few other places. And he was saying, you know, like many of y'all, like we were just trying to connect to our purpose and just and live our soul missions. So I pray that everybody's able to move forward and continue on that mission. Everybody, regardless of where they are, including Alivio in the situation that he's in. It's never too late and it's not over. This isn't this lifetime isn't the end all be all. These lessons that we take, they continue and we're gonna all transcend. So I think we need to realize that beyond the hurt, the pain, the the victim the victimization as well, is that on the other side of this, it's all love. On the other side, it's all love, but there are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts to transcendence. And in this time and space and reality, everything is coming to the table. Everything is coming to the forefront. And that's that. Yeah, BKL. Yep. Same. Same, same, same. They said free that innocent man. You crazy. Everybody gets they, what they deserve. That's real. You get what you put out. That's a universal law. That's something that doesn't change. That's something that doesn't change. I find that so interesting how everything was public, everything was live, and and still people are in levels of cognizant dissonance that's just mind-boggling. Like, yeah. how would you feel if everything that was done was done to you or someone that you love or that you care about? And the point of it is accountability. Accountability. Like, the nigga had two plea offers, one for seven years, one for 20, before they gave him his verdict. And if that nigga was man enough to say, you know what, I had a position of power, I had people following me who trusted me, who came to learn the truth, who I was supposed to guide, and look where I landed all of us, look where I landed myself. I sit down for seven years. I sit down for 20 years. No. He stood in that ego, and the biggest giants are going to fall the hardest. And so, yeah, it's all love, but at the end of the day, love is unconditional. So love is going to become whatever it needs to become. If love needs to become an ass whooping, love is going to become an ass whooping. That's for so niggas who need ass whoopings, because niggas need ass whoopings. Just like everybody who's trying to keep up this charade, like free that innocent man, and all this extra shit, all the trolling shit, everybody trying to call people out on shit. Like, nigga, live y'all lives. For real. And live a pure life. Stop worrying about other people. Stop. Just be yourself. <laughs> At the end of the day, be your most authentic self and do what makes you excited. If what makes you excited is being a troll and being goofy and being ignorant, then go do that with people who want to do that too. But people out here who trying to live, live what's worth living, which is life for real, say that shit. Because all you're doing is playing with yourself. silence after that that's the pin on the nail that's why i love her she balanced me out because sometimes i'll be like listen i know i ain't perfect but i have had to take responsibility for everything i done did in life in order to move on so that's just the truth that's the honest truth he said that's not true bro there's many men in our lifetime that came home once being proved they were innocent years later and awarded millions from the government it's not trolling if you feel you're innocent well, you can say that, but at the same time, you're talking to somebody who was there, bro. Right. You know what I mean? And don't don't get me wrong, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if the nigga innocent, he innocent. You feel me? Niggas don't got no reason to come on here and say to disagree with that. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not the type of person to hold somebody to hold somebody till they pass up. But if you did something in your past and you continuing to um, display behavior traits that align with that, you're choosing that reality. So. You know, if you're, you know what I'm saying? That's like, if I punched this retarded kid in the face right here, and then after I punched him, his face hurt. His face I mean? hurt. His face hurts. But then I'm going to go in, despite my intent. You know what I mean? Despite my intent. But then I go off, and I punch another kid. You know what I mean? Somebody shit, somebody punched me for punching the kid. But I'm like, nah. 
I, I'm on to something. I'm going to keep punching retarded kids because <laughs> I know I'm on to something. You feel me? At that point, you're continuing to be that. You got everybody yelling at you. Yo, you should not be punching them. But you still do. So at that point, like my queen said, the hard, the, the biggest giants will fall the hardest. And that's, truth be told, that in a way can be a mind fucking itself for people who would have believed that that never could have been the case. And you're looking at one. You're looking at one who, you know what I mean, put them on a pedestal above myself. Sacrif let go of everything in my life to praise one person. Thinking that, that how, that's how I was going to reach fulfillment in life and in myself. And was led and allowed to believe that continually. I mean, you look at different masters from movies to whatever. I mean, come on. It's pretty simple. Either you abuse your power or you don't. Ain't no leader going, ain't no real master of self ever going to tell you, hey, follow me. Do what I'm doing. My way is the only way. You're nothing. You're below me. You're supposed to serve me. Your life is mine. Ain't nobody who is here to empower the people gonna come take power. I mean, let's take it back to the story of Jesus Christ. At the end of the day, niggas make it about their ego. Niggas make it about what they want. What they want. And when you have people around you supporting you in, in, an unhealth, in your unhealthy ways because of imbalances within our own selves, of course you're not gonna be able to see self. Because the people around you at some point cannot see self. And why can they not see self? Because you told them to turn away from self and face me. I mean, it's a maze. It's a maze full of trap doors that leads to trauma, that leads to pain, that leads to confusion. And then you're told, then, then you, 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 you use the knowledge and you twist it to fuck our own selves in the ass. How, how do you find any type of innocence or excuse in that? Yeah. Yeah. Big Tyrone said he has flaws, yeah, but he did take some pee. And no, they didn't allow her interviews to be played for a reason. A lot of these women came to sleep with him. Very few really knew the knowledge. Um, all I got to say is, bro, you're going to get the way your reality reflects itself to you is going to be exactly, it, it's a direct reflection of what you deserve. And in this time and space that we're in, it's just very simple, man. Everything is coming to the table, the forefront. And everybody's getting what they rightfully really want. And, uh, and, if, and if it is going to be some other player, which I don't think it is, but I have, we have no reason to say, yo, if it's somebody changed and they want to be a better person and they able to get released, and they're all cool, that's love. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, can you face yourself? Can you? Because that's what we want in society. You want people that don't just run around and it's not just one situation or one scenario. So just make sure you're looking at it with a holistic perspective because as a symbol... If you're not properly reflecting on another reflection of yourself, if that's what you're going to do, then it's, a li it's likely that you're, you're letting that part of yourself get away with things within yourself. So just be careful with that. And it's deeper than, and it's deep, okay, so on a surface level or here on this physical level, you got the, here you go, baby, you got the case and what the case was for, okay? The case was for what everybody feels is discrepancy, rape, not rape, whatever. So that's the case, right? So you can feel however you want to feel about the case. Many of women, just on the women level, many of women have came in and out of that cult and have been beat the fuck up, put the fuck down, when we're all one, when we're all God, period. Beyond that, the men who were there have been beat on, beating each other up, and put down. So it's beyond the case. This man is facing self. It's not just about, oh, she lied on this man. No, this man is facing himself. And it's not just him. Anybody who is not facing self is being brought to their fucking knees to bow before the all that is merging before us. It's not just about, oh, this nigga did this and this nigga did that. Like, there's, you got to look beyond and in between the lines deeper, deeper into the, the picture. And if you can't see that and if you can't acknowledge that, that's that's good for you. But keep it where you at and allow others to evolve and accept and feel what they feel. Do not discredit the ones who have been there and been inside of that. Mm -hmm. 
And somebody said something like, um, somebody said he's going to manifest himself for years. Yeah, it's funny because um, one thing that I, I noticed as a behavior and as a trait, you know what I'm saying? Something that was always like a mindset that was taken on was like when somebody new would come in and be like, how is this person going to fuck me over? How, and, it, you know, you really start to see like, you got to be careful of the, the, the your mentality and reality because you people call it manifesting, but you're not really manifesting. It's just... It's a version of reality that already exists because all exists now. You feel me? So then you start tapping into that version of your reality and that's what you experience. So, you know, you could say manifesting, attracting. Yeah, attracting in a sense, attracting himself to a certain reality. Absolutely. And somebody else says something. Oh, uh, I was just going to pin that. Then somebody said, uh, all the people who were there should get time just like you too, Musa. Y'all did everything he did. Are y'all innocent and he's not? You admitted to rape as well. Um, be careful using that word in here. Um, there's people who are sensitive to that. But understanding <laughs> understanding where you're coming from as a viewer and as a watcher, um, all I can say is that my fate, which is going to be seen online, whatever that everything that I've done, I've had to deal with myself. I've chose to deal with. I've chose to either apologize for anything I was wrong for, and I'm not admitting to anything, but I have made mistakes. There have been misunderstandings in my life, but that's the choice and the route that I took. And I, from the reflection of my life, I'm being blessed. I'm not setting myself up to go out there and hurt people, harm people. And I'm not saying that that was the brother's intent, but that's not my intent. And if I see myself doing that in life, I'm simply going to choose to not do that anymore. You know, and I, I pray that, you know, I don't have a fate like that. But if I was, for whatever reason, it would be what it was. And cut all that out, too, because if you're, if you're, if our parents as children told us, hey, go over here and kill this nigga right here because you need to protect your family, which is something that happens day in and day out in all type of indigenous families and, and deep cultures of families. Is you going is you gonna tell them that you need to go face the same fate as your father because he's the one who led you astray? So if if you give yourself over to somebody, if you if you give your life, your purpose, your truth to somebody and allow them to reflect that back onto you and you follow that. Right? Everybody online followed this man. Everybody online shared his shit. Everybody followed him. He was a leader in the community of which y'all niggas are a part of. So everybody's following what he's doing. He was telling everybody, you need to be like me. And if you're not like me, you're nothing. And everybody was being judged for not being like him. So... If a man's ego is taken, what are they going to do? They're going to try to get it back. Their egos were taken. Identities were taken. Shit was taken left and motherfucking right. So to, what, what did you tell me earlier? You were trying to what? You were trying to sustain yourself. Niggas was trying to sustain themselves in an environment. Period. But the leader of the environment. The father, the quote-unquote messiah, like the prophets who followed Jesus type shit. Led him astray. Led, led himself astray. And yes, they followed. The difference is accountability was taken. Accountability has been taken on every end by this man right here. And anybody else who's living their life and who has moved on. And who is focusing on the things that need to be focused on in their life. People who aren't taking accountability are facing that in a different way. If he needed to be somewhere, if he needed to be up under a jail cell, if he needed to be facing a life sentence, he would be there just like a Leo motherfucking bishop. Period. And it's not hard to understand. So while y'all walking around trying to condemn motherfuckers for shit they did when following somebody that y'all still praising and y'all still look up to the same way they looked up to him, check the facts. And check it with your heart. Don't just check it with your mind. You're just out to you out to pinpoint somebody for something. This every time my husband has went live, he's went live and spoken on what his experience in that shit and love. He's never tried to put shit down. He's never tried to be dramatic. He's never tried to do any of that shit. 
So the same way y'all say anybody else can move on, anybody else can change, the same way y'all have changed in your own lives and then giving yourself the opportunity to renew and regenerate, allow. And if you're not watching to see him regenerate and renew himself, then please get the fuck on. Simple. Because y'all not going to keep coming for mine. That's not happening. All right, on to the next. So to top that off with a cherry, because we won't be in here too long. Yo, listen, anybody out there that's playing the victim, please do not use my name for nothing because I really, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to put too much out online on the air. You understand? But I will push it on the air. We don't have to do that, though. You understand? Like, we could just be cool. Like, we could be cordial. Just don't use my name because I don't even talk to nobody. I don't reach out to nobody. Me and my queen been mind our business for the last two damn years. Man, two years. You see what I'm saying? So, just don't use my name. I don't have no interest in nothing y'all talking about if it's not about us progressing forward as a, a, a united fucking intergalactic family. That's all we care about. We don't care about nothing else. We don't care about the money. It's going to come. We don't care about the food. It's going to come. All that's going to come. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's just still moving on. The train's still going. Nothing stops. You know what I mean? Our lives weren't contingent upon carbonation. That doesn't define who we are. That's the point. So it's everybody's responsibility to... to, to Especially if they were in the environment to be an example outside of that. Show the world what you have to offer. Show the world what it means to move on from an environment like that. In love and peace and in harmony. And that's that. We really don't have too much to say. We pretty much said it all. If you didn't catch the whole video, you have to run it back. Know to be on the lookout for some music. You know, we've been sitting on some stuff. It's just, we've been getting it together, man. We've been just, just getting it together, one day at a time. Thank you for everybody that came on live and, and chopped it up with us. If anybody got any questions, I guess we could take a couple questions. You know what I mean? Because we really don't hop on here live. I can't tell you when we'll be back on live. But... Give a couple seconds for some questions and after that wrap it up because I'm getting, I'm getting a little tired. They getting on big Tyrone ass like. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that shit funny as hell. <laughs> hey man. Shout out to shout out to our brother Loyal. Shout out to our brother Loyal. It would have been three days from now, a year ago, that he would have transitioned. That was my brother, you know what I mean? And we had our disagreements at times, but he was a warrior. He had heart, you know what I mean? That was my bro. So we know he on the other side, he looking out. He out there living his life, still on his soul journey. You know what I mean? We see you. Keep going, my boy. Love you always. fair like you know what i mean <laughs> hell yeah I was, hey i was surprised you know i'm like damn that nigga took man? niggas lives what are you talking about but if you think about it if you really think about it it's not even you gotta look past the semantics of the charge you really gotta look at like spiritual it's you know what i'm saying you really gotta look deeper into it. it's not just about the charge that was like the that was the cap that was that was, you know, the universe saying no. For like, real, this shit like y'all stop. Get it through your head. This shit can't be. It can't be. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, 
I mean, if y'all want to vibe with us for a couple minutes, we can maybe play y'all something, but we don't got too much to say much, you know? We need to have a political orientation. A political <laughs> orientation. Yeah, that nigga was what fucking was the dictator. That was it. That was it. All right, so with this... Uh, and I just want to say, yeah, he just said, life is fair, F nature boy. It's life is fair, all love to everybody involved because yeah. he is getting what he deserves. You understand? Not what he deserves, what he wanted. You know what I mean? What he chose. So we need to be able to look and support everybody and the life experiences that they're going through because we're all making decisions. We've all made the decisions consciously and subconsciously. And it's unconditional love at the end of the day. So I, we're going to support him in life in prison. And we pray that he gets to sit down and face himself and evolve and beyond this lifetime. You know, he, he, he fulfilled his, his purpose and can hand it back to source dutifully so, just like the rest of us. What's done in the dark will always come to the light. Boom. Dictators always fall, for real. Boom. It's that simple. And it took me a while to really understand that. My queen done played so many videos for me, documentaries, all type of stuff, and I was fighting it. I was really fighting it for a long, long time. You know what I mean? But after a while, I'm like, damn, like, that could really happen. Like, somebody could really be like that. You know what I'm saying? But not in a sense of holding it, like, hate in my heart. You know what I mean? Just understanding the reason for it. Even the reason I went through what I went through. Because it led me to her. And it also helped me understand her on a lot of levels. And love her on a deep level. You know what I mean? So she needed me to go through that experience that I went through to be the man that I am today. You know what I mean? And I'm not defined by it, but it's my experience. It's who I am. It's part of what made me the person I am. And it's my job, duty, and responsibility to take that and to shit, make lemonade out of it, right? Take the lemons, make lemonade, spread the love, spread the joy, spread the understanding, even if it don't always feel the best, and keep pushing. Because that's what he was supposed to do was to pass the torch, keep pushing, pass the torch. Facts. And we keep pushing. You know what I mean? That's the how it works. The torch has been passed, though. Don't even work. Yeah, I think 10 years would have been enough. Well, if it would have been enough, it would have been 10 years. Let's face it. Yeah, my baby has healed beautifully. Oh, yes, he has. Thank you. I couldn't do that without you, baby. I'm so proud of him. And all y'all proud of him too. His birthday coming up March 29th. Be sure to show love. Hey, Jake, what's up, my boy? <laughs> Jake, we haven't talked in a minute. You're going to have to hit my, my inbox, Brody. That's crazy. That was the beginning. Jake was there when I was getting ready to leave. Coming over. That's crazy. Wait, what is that? If they came back and gave Musa six years for taking advantage of Tori, would you be singing the same song? This is for your queen. Guess what? They ain't gonna come back and give my baby six years. And I put that, my whole life on that, so we ain't even gotta worry about that one. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's in my cards this lifetime. I just don't see it. And I'm sorry, I don't I don't calculate other females' names. Oof. Jehovah can speak to souls, but somewhere along the way, ego took over and he lost some messages on God. Yeah. Be careful of what you want. Yeah, essentially. Quote, unquote, want. Until you find a holistic balance within yourself and what you want is aligned with what you need. So how, what song you want to end it out with? Mm -hmm. so, I'll be... I don't even know how that's going to work, how it's going to play off though. Maybe we can't play a song for y'all. Because we got this hooked up to the car. Yeah, we got this hooked up to the... To the... Nah, we don't. <laughs> don't even do it. <laughs> don't even do it. We could, but... Alright, my baby tired. Take it down. We got had a long day. We had a long day. Maybe we will go live again. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe we'll go live again. Yeah.
All right, well, nobody had with no questions, you know what I'm saying? We said we had to say, you know, niggas done recorded it somewhere. You feel me? Oh, somebody said, what were you, should we speak on that? If you want to. If I want to. Like, Go ahead. Yeah. I, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. Yeah, let's see it. They, they, they recorded it. I don't know. We might say that. Should I speak on that? You want to. You keep asking. It's not even that. I just want to. I'm just trying to think if I... I'm trying to think if I really want to. That shit was so, like, past me, though. All right, yeah, we'll say it alive. Um, we'll, we'll say it alive. Okay, we'll say it alive. 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 I, I did kind of speak on it though. I just wasn't trying to name drop. I, don't really, I just said don't use my name. So. Do you believe a prostitute can be raped? That's a slow question. That's a slow. That's why I need to read it. Yes, I should. Okay, let's speak on it. You was ready for that. <laughs> Who? Who, me? Yes. No, I wasn't ready for that. I just, I really wasn't. I really was ready to turn the live off, but I guess I'll just close it out. I guess we can close it out like this. So, I'm the type of nigga hit somebody direct, but. All right, so everybody's talking about, not everybody, but apparently, I don't know. I really don't even know the timestamp of the video. If there, if, if. Because I really don't know, so I'm just going to put that out there. Nobody can say anything. If there's anything about Mama Nine going out or whatever her name was at the time, um, speaking on our, our, a relationship we had in the past and what it was, I just pray that, one, people are not taking um, the negative perspective or one-side perspective. Two, um to I, I don't know her real name but I, I pray that she doesn't continue to hold on to the a victim perspective for anything for any unrighteous reasons for no attention or or anything like that because of what may, what may be going on internally um i pray that's not the case and i want to say that from my understanding i had spoke to her privately long ago and even recent she literally and i think it's i don't know it might still be there sent a message and said please don't speak nothing on me and this is why i said before she said don't post no pictures don't post no pictures of us and i'm like i don't have no pictures of us to post i don't think i ever did um <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly i never did so yeah, if that's something that's happening and she's, like, real life doing that, like, now, just understand that, like, from my understanding, we had made amends, and I got, I don't like to be a, 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 a online Instagram or, or, or nigga, but I know, it, I have screenshots, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga, I have screenshots, <laughs> stop, I, I just hope that's not a thing, I want to speak on that from, from my perspective to say that. No, it was never nothing forceful. It was never nothing. It was never. It's nothing outside of the fact that I was just as confused as you were. God damn it! Damn it, nigga! Lord, the fuck! You went there. He went there. Everybody went I there. Was everybody was nigga. online. God I was damn! Nigga, trying like, to be my best self, confused, lost in a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Lonely. And why is this shit God just now it. coming up? Like, bro, like, we yeah, he been real. off the fucking scene. I've been like, off the map. I ain't hit no. Only motherfucker been talking to is me. Like, For good real. night. Go to sleep, please. Oh, somebody says she ain't saying I'm back. Good, cause I just got something sent over. And if that's the case, then good. Then that if it don't apply, let it fly. So if nothing bad was said, cool. But I thought I heard something. And if it's the trolls reposting it, then that's the trolls. So if I'm mistaken, then. Boom, let it be that. Then it's left on the note that I thought it was, but I want to speak that out there for anybody else who could be trying to spread any type of lies or drama, you know what I'm saying? Just to get both perspectives out there. Let it be stated on the record. And y'all want to talk about something real. 
what happened to moving to the tropics, y'all? What, what happened to moving to the tropics, self-sustainability? What happened to all of that shit? Like, what's up? Everybody just fucking left. Niggas is working jobs and shit on live. Like, I'm talking about everybody. Like, we could be talking about so much other shit, helping each other out, doing big things for each other. Like, it's, a, it's, it's people who really value shit like that. I really hope that we can all, now that he is locked up, and we can, I hope that we can all put this shit behind us. And we can all move forward and come together in a way that we have not came together before. Oh, okay, okay. And thank y'all for correcting that. So that must be understood amongst y'all. So, hey, like I said, if it don't apply, let it fly. That was from a perspective of thinking that it was something else. So, well, thank y'all for saying that. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. We just wanted to air that out because, boom, that's everybody knows that that's relevant. That's why most of y'all in here anyway. You know what I'm saying? So for those of y'all that really want to just rock with us and y'all want to see what we continue to do, then, yeah, rock with us. Because all we're going to be doing is just trying to show and promote our healing and growth in a way that it expresses itself in life. You know what I mean? So we're out here. We're still going to be in the tropics. Still pushing the, the message of purity and how it reflects itself in nature. Because that's what it's about. And it's going to be about the children and the new generation and talking to intergalactic and extraterrestrial beings and evolving and seeing humanity evolve as a, as, a, as a race you know and for anything that's not for the earth to go and experience a different reality and for everybody that's really you know trying to really do something different to experience that love that unconditional love here on earth that we want to experience whether it's this lifetime or maybe a couple yeah. other ones I don't know but that's what we're going for Yep. Ain't no demons in the name of love. That's a fact. You can run to the tropics all you want. Your demons will follow. I mean, wherever you go, there you are. That's just what we're doing. That makes us excited. That made everybody excited at one point. For real. That's what I'm saying. I really want to see if we can play something. I'm going to try. So y'all can't say I didn't try. Um, I got... I just hit Guinea. But then I know we got Death about to drop, so maybe we should play that. I'm gonna play Death. That would make sense. Why I'll play, play Death. Alright, yeah. Alright, yeah. 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 right, let me see. I'm gonna try and swipe up if you wanna hear it. I don't even think that's gonna work. It's gonna pause. Nah, it's not gonna pause. If if y'all wanna hear some of this song, then you can stay. If not, you don't have to stay. But I'm gonna try it. And if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna end the live. And I'll save it. So. It'll be saved for a little bit, you know what I mean? And then you'll have to go watch it, but give me one sec, hold on. Okay. Yeah, it's not working. So, ooh. Ooh, what the fucking ooh, bug was that? It was a spider. Did you get it? I don't know. I got uh -uh. him. I, I got him. Where he at? You know. show and get him out the car. Dang. No. That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right, we really wanted to bump with y'all, but so I guess we'll just have to do a bump session later, and that'll be separate. But I'm glad we got to get all that out the way. Peace, love, peace and love. We out. We outside. Okay. Yes, peace, Mama Efru. Peace, God. Yes, crazy that we weren't able to. Because, you know, we have all the evidence on our pages, on Instagram, yes, on exactly. YouTube, but she didn't allow us to play none of our videos. Yeah, and I was getting to that. I realized that. Yeah. I realized that. It was it was very, he, he didn't, he was not treated fairly. This is all the way wrong. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we just have to keep speaking on like the injustices because this could happen to anybody. And it was clear to see that they just didn't like him. They had personal feelings. It didn't matter what we went up there and said. They already had what they wanted to do in mind. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I know. I've been staying in tune. I've been observing everything. Yeah. Yes. And I've been sitting back quietly listening and watching mm -hmm. and it's it's not right. I have mm -hmm. a stellium in Libra. I don't like when people is being treated unfair. A person or people, I'm going to speak yeah. up. My midheaven yeah. is in Libra. This is my astrological energy. You understand? Mm -hmm. And it's it's not right. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Even the fact the judge continuing the trial when she tested positive for COVID. Exactly. That that uh, that in itself shows that it just wasn't the due process wasn't it wasn't done right. No. It just oh. wasn't right. They was trying to hurry up and they knew that something would go wrong if they did postpone it and she did follow the guidelines for COVID. Yeah. Yes. She did follow the guidelines for COVID. Then yes. the trial would have been moved to next week and he probably would have got a more fair judge. And she knew that. Yes. But they yes. wanted to convict him with that. They wanted to do that. Yes. Yep. That's a fact. I, I noticed that. I saw that. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. right. And it, it's not right. Yeah. Yes. And what? what? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Bambi. Go, go ahead, Bambi. Yeah, and the, the other thing is, too, is, yeah, like the other two witnesses were exactly. used as a distraction. Exactly. And, then, yeah. and people, and then, too, Chief Alicia Bishop is a spiritual guru. All yeah, right. He didn't yeah. even get yeah. a chance to defend then, himself. It, yeah. There was no, there was nothing, no evidence to, to say that he did that. Yeah. There was just all a distraction. They, there was yeah. nothing, no evidence to say that he did it. That he did anything that those other witnesses said. Like what? How could you allow them to come on, and they don't have nothing to do with the case at all? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then how are you gonna believe what they say? Without evidence, just listening to word of mouth, and, and then yes. when she cut, and then when Efru was on there testifying, she gonna say she that's miss... hearsay. Efru was like, "This, this whole is thing is hearsay. Like, Why can't I explain my part?" Yeah, them witnesses that you just let up, you didn't have no evidence for that. Yeah. Yes, they yeah. didn't look through none of that. Yeah, when they came that day, and you know, they took all of our devices. They have at least. 18, 18 iPhones. Phones. They have our tablets. They have laptops. They didn't look through any of that stuff. They didn't have no evidence. And to convict somebody with those type of charges, you have to have without a shadow of doubt that this happened. Exactly. But this whole thing was hearsay and yes. we wasn't allowed to show their motive. We wasn't allowed to show them going against their own word. So it was like what? We couldn't even do nothing at that point. Mm -mm. And we have all of our we have all of our evidence on our page, on our website. Yes. Um, our lawyer did attempt to play a video, but the jury was constantly excused when we brought a valid point. Yes. When our lawyer exposed that that self-proclaimed court expert was a um, felony. Uh, um, he was a convicted felon. He was yeah. a convicted felon. The jury had to step out. Yeah. So because, she yeah. manipulated the whole trial and manipulated the jury just by simply um, having them excused when they needed to hear certain important evidence yes. that exonerated yes. race chief. Yes, I was just about to say that. Yes. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's it's he was treated very very unfair very yeah because if they would have played those videos it would have exonerated it would it definitely would exactly. it would but yeah they didn't so right now we just we just gonna appeal it we yes. have to keep fighting because exactly everybody knows that he's innocent yes exactly the public knows that even the so-called alleged victim she knows that she's Eligio Bishop is innocent. Yeah. She knows that. Yeah. But yeah. see, at the end of her life cycle, she's going to have to deal with herself. She's going to have to face herself. Yeah. And her heart is going to be heavy. It's not going to be light as a feather. No. You know? It's if not. You listen it's to not. The, if you yeah. listen to the detective interview, you're going to see that that exonerates him. Yep, that exonerates yes, him. That's what I'm going she didn't know she was, because we're going to, this is what she could be, keep this here.
people that people are saying, I live up, I don't do this anymore. And you know, that one, so I'm going to say, shut up. It was like, you know, she has to hug him. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, no. And I'm like, but if you don't, I do know how it is. Like, it's, it wasn't no, stop. No, that was never. It was like, you know, babe, chill out. And she's like, okay. And she texted me, she was like, all right. But then after we made love right there, she was like, when she went in the room, we made love. It was no rape, son. It was no force entry. There was no rape at all. This that's what she's claiming. But that's what I'm saying to you. That is a setup. That is wrong. It's, and that's what I'm saying to you, sir. I did not mean. They didn't want to be let in. That's what they didn't want for everybody to hear. Because they will hear how she never said she was great. She never said he, he was violent in any way. Yes. It was just all that it was was a made love feelings i wanted yeah. to be with him i wanted to stay yes. you can hear them coaxing her telling her well he's a bad guy and she even she said really i yes. thought he, i thought I, he I watched the video yeah, yeah i watched them so I, they didn't want that they didn't want that played so that they can hear the jury yeah they didn't want hear the jury that. hearing that because they would have came to a more reasonable verdict yes yeah yes. yeah that's, yeah, yeah they, they let they, that evidence out and that's grounds for dismissal right there yeah because how you gonna have something in the discovery which is supposed to be part of evidence right yeah how is it that you don't allow something that is a part of a discovery in yeah yeah that's a yeah. part of what you guys are saying that he that's a part of the what you guys are saying that he did yeah yeah it's just shocking that um our system can do that it's it's shocking that the justice system is just able to have some like sentence somebody life without parole without with, with so nothing. little evidence with so little yes. um just fairness yeah and that's and it exposes a lot if if you don't learn anything about this situation you learn how corrupt this system is Yes. And how extreme how we're in danger. We're in danger. Yes. yes. Stacy COVID. Uh, oh, excuse me. Hydric. Stacy COVID. Stacy yes. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. And like like said, anybody, yes. anybody, if you are a superior judge, right? Superior judge. He's a superior supposed to judge. go by standards. You are not supposed to go off of just higher you supposed to be a but higher than standards you supposed to be like immaculate yes he went in here like, like a she supposed to be yeah, yeah she's not supposed to go in there and test positive she's supposed to be negative for covid yeah yeah she's supposed to have standards that is higher than anything like you're deciding people's lives and their fates here yeah how you gonna go in there sick and we all know that covid yeah no. yeah so for now on her name is Judge Superior Judge Stacy COVID. COVID. <laughs> Not Hydric. Her name is Stacy yes. COVID. Yes. Because that, that was. She actually broke the law. Yeah. Like she. Uh, wow. It's, it's, and that's what happens. Outrageous. These people get into these positions and then they feel like they're above the law they can have some sort of yes. personal vendetta and yes. nobody's going to do anything about it yeah yeah, yeah. yes that's true it's, um, yeah yeah and, and the, this this is this is so extreme this is so wrong this is injustice it's not right it's it's all the way not right and then yeah. i'm i'm actually shocked at Chief Eligio Bishop summoned his disciples that turned their back on him and actually actually on the stand that that is well that I'm like I didn't see that coming and I'm like yeah I'm like wow I'm, stay I'm, tuned yeah stay Bambi tuned. keep on proclaiming we just wanted to get some viewers in here so you can uh um, yes. proclaim Chief Innocence yes hit him with the knowledge hit him, okay. with, the knowledge. Hit him with the truth okay okay all right all right, all right. I, I love myself okay. He needs me, though he doesn't care. Now, not just because
it's my year now, I'm clear now Only feeling cast that shit for me Lioness, I can test streets, lioness, don't twist it It's consistently consistent, if you missed it This train is bound for glory, in the story My whole repertory is song 40, they born for me Thinking they can mess up your plan, but I'ma play lamb Knowing that the kingdom's at hand And showing those who want it, you gon' bring them the land Just send us a hand not concerned with the platinum status Cause every joint I threw I was too for gratis I'm on the train with my pips like I'm Lil Gladys Or in the rain throwing chips to the kids and addis My five lot two kids and the baby father I hot to lava we done got lava